To get on a flight, dozens of people are stranded at San Diego International Airport with hundreds of flights canceled and delayed this weekend. Our Alani Latang is live at the airport with more about the situation there tonight. Alani. Good evening. It's just been madness here for people, for families trying to get back home. You can hear the overhead speaker just listing off canceled flights here, but people have been waiting several hours. They've been waiting days all weekend just to try and get back home here. Let me show you the line here. This is the Southwest line for people that need to book a new flight because their flight has been canceled. I mean, they've even broken out the chairs now. People have been sitting down so that they're able to, to not stand anymore. And just take a look at the sign. We have family families here. We have people here, everyone here just trying to book a new flight. People are also here trying to find their luggage, believe it or not. Now we're going to walk over here to the baggage claim area, and this is a whole other scene here that we're seeing. People, again, just waiting to find their luggage. Several people have told us that the people who've tried to have flights canceled here from San Diego have told us just to get here. They had to drive to another city and catch a flight to San Diego. Their luggage, however, not able to get off their original plane has brought them here to this point to look for their luggage. People here trying to go back home even said that they thought about just driving back to their destinations, including across multiple states, or trying to find a group of people going to the same area so they can all carpool to the next state. The reason for some of these disruptions is winter weather across the country. That's grounding planes, plus a shortage in airline staff, and people have shared with us really how it's a affecting them. Not even at Disneyland. No, this is a Disneyland line nightmare. I had um, a flight for four o'clock yesterday and um, that was canceled. So I waited in that line right there for seven hours, was here until 1 a.m. last night, got rebooked for today at three. That got canceled and now I can't find my luggage. I'm supposed to be at work tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, it's putting a little bit of a dent in it. And now we're finding out that we probably won't be at home until May maybe Thursday. Standing on your feet in one spot, the line's not moving. I mean, everything is hurting. I, at one point I got sick. I thought I was gonna throw up. Just got really, look, I need to tell you I'm 74 years old. This is not easy <laughs> for somebody my age. It's not easy for many people here. Just to taking, giving you guys a snapshot here. Look at all this luggage. This is luggage from canceled flights, mixed in with flights that were able to land. Just an absolute mess here for people trying to make it back home. We feel so much sympathy for them. People need medicine. People need to just go back home to go on about their lives here. But not much they can do here. The Southwest line is very long. Many flights are being canceled. Many people are told they can't get a flight out for a couple of days now. Some people are now trying to see if they can drive to LA or Burbank and try to catch a flight there. But again, people have been waiting here very patiently, trying to make the best of a Christmas vacation. You know, they still have their hats on, they still have their matching pajamas on, but this is not the ideal time. This is a very chaotic scene here at the San Diego International Airport. Probably the first time I've ever seen it look this crazy. That's the word everyone here is using. It's just an absolute mess here. And some people are hopeful they'll catch later flights. Others are just going to try and call relatives to pick them up to see if they can try to book a new flight home. Jason. Just incredible to see those crowds.